Hi guys, today I will be unboxing One Us. This is their eighth mini album, Malice. I hope I pronounced that right. I should have looked up the pronunciation. Maybe I'll just do that really quick. I just double checked and it's more like Malice, like not Malice, but Malice. Anyways, here we go, eighth mini album, Malice. I'm very excited because this comeback was so good. Oh my gosh, but we'll get into that later. There's actually quite a bit of versions this time. Thankfully, they're quite small, so it's not too bad, but um, there's the main version right here. Then we have the Eden version and they did member versions, so I just cut down to my bias. And then we have the Polka version and the limited platform version that a lot of groups have been doing these days. There is quite a bit, so yeah, let's get into the unboxing. We'll start with the main version, the regular photo book version. Also, let's ignore how my nails are. <laughs> Like, they are just so messed up right now. They have glue all over them. They're just so messed up right now. I'm so sorry about that. Here is the front cover. It's actually very pretty. I like this, I don't know what to call this look. I was gonna say marble, but it's not really marble, but kind of close to it. I really like that. That's the back with the track list right there. Of course, one is B-Sides Slay, as usual. I'd say my favorite um, B-Side is Stupid Love. That one's really, really good. I can explain more later why I like that one, but I'd say that one's my favorite on the album. That's the back and that's the side. Very pretty. Okay, let's open this. Comes outside. I just made a really loud noise. Okay, there we go. Contents have been emptied. We got, okay, it's more like this way. Photo book on the top there. We'll put all of the goodies to the side. Here's the photo book. I'm going to assume photo cards are inside here. Or maybe not. There was like a little goodie bag pouch thing, whatever you want to call it. Photo cards are actually sitting right here at the top. So we are going to not look at that. <laughs> okay, that's the front page. There we go. I didn't really see who I got. So we'll save that as a surprise. I believe this is one of his second comeback this year so far and they have been killing it their first release of 2022 was bring it on and that of course was amazing and also the packaging to that album was really cool it was such a cool packaging well not necessarily the packaging but the front cover was beautiful it was like playing cards kind of style i just thought it was really cool and of course they continue to do such beautiful concepts to their albums and music videos and just literally everything they're styling everything they continue to impress me with their music as well honestly and i already raved about one us in their last album <laughs> i swear i'm always just like complimenting them and everything they do but how could you not they do everything amazing and to me you know i was actually thinking about this the other day but if i was to pick three fourth gen groups to be my alts my camera just stopped recording i think because i ran out of memory so i deleted some older videos <laughs> Oh my gosh, but I'm not sure if it caught what I was just saying here, but I was saying if I had to pick three fourth gen groups as my alt groups, it would be Stray Kids, TXT, and One Us. I just feel like One Us is on another level, honestly. I find it crazy how they impress me every comeback, and they have been now a group since 2019, like January, I think, of 2019. So it's been quite a while now. And yet here they still are blowing me away every comeback. You'd think by now there's like maybe one comeback I think is eh, like not so good, but that's not the case for Wanus. Every single one of their comebacks has been the best it could ever be. Nothing has been slightly disappointing or bad in any way. Everything has been my taste and my style of music that I love. And that's why I think I would pick Wanus to be an alt group if I was to pick a fourth generation group as an alt group. <laughs> Yeah, and also they're very talented, all so talented, and they're very likable as well. I love all of their personalities so much. Yeah, <laughs> I think One Us deserve more uh, recognition because they're not like super huge. And I was thinking about this the other day. I know they did do, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I just have to say he looks so good right here. Oh my gosh, that is a stunning photo. Anyways, I will continue what I was saying. Like, I know they did a tour at the beginning of the year, I believe so. Um, I think they were one of the first groups that started getting back into touring. And I was thinking to myself, can they please go on another North American tour? I just really don't want to miss out on seeing them. I would die. And I've heard really great things about them in concert. Come on. 
I need to witness a song written easily live. Not just that one, literally all of their songs. I know I mentioned how all of their title tracks are usually so good, but their B-sides too, since their debut. And their debut, plus the B-sides on their debut album, was what made me really interested in them. I actually was already interested in Connie from when he was on Pretty 101 season two, except for he went by his real name back then. But um, yeah, I already really liked him on Produce 101 season two. That's why he was my first bias. If you watch my um, unboxing of their debut album, I believe I said Connie was my bias because I already had liked him from, oh my God, he is killing it this era. Sorry, I'm like, it's always killing it, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mentioned just because I already liked him from Produce 101 season two, he was my bias at the time. But of course, my boy Raven just stole my heart. <laughs> Like, I already mentioned this, but I low-key have a crush on him. I don't think I could see him in person because I would just malfunction and collapse or whatever. I would not be able to be a person. I would just die. I would just melt into a puddle of tears. I'm totally kidding. Don't worry. I wouldn't actually be like that. But anyways, we got the credits and CD, which is very pretty. Well, it's actually pretty plain, but <laughs> it's still very pretty. All right. That was that. I just raved about Wannis throughout this entire photo book. I didn't really mention much about their visuals, but we all know how pretty they are. They're all so gorgeous. And this comeback concept is stunning. We can clearly see it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's photo cards at the front there. We'll go through that in a second. Before we go through any of the random things that I took out of that, we'll just bring out this stuff right here. Do I want to? Ooh, this is random. <laughs> okay, looks like we are bringing random stuff out. Uh, so we got a funny little um, photo thing here. Oh, is this an indent or is it supposed to be like that? I think, oh yeah, it's an indent from that on the back. That's okay. He looks so good though. And I also really like the border of this. That's really cool. Okay, and then we got this as well. Shall I go through this? Ooh, this apple. Reminds me of Snow White. Okay. Let's just take all of this out. Okay, this looks like lyrics, yes lyric booklet the track list same scent though i don't think i talked about that enough what an amazing comeback it is amazing this song it it has like a really fun instrumental and it, that's why it reminds me of a song written easily also stupid love i already mentioned it's my favorite b-side on the album for me it reminds me kind of of like early 2000s kind of a song I love this track. It, it gives me like nostalgia for some reason. It just has that kind of sound to it, like an early 2000s kind of a sound. Yeah. Then we have the back. Raven looks so handsome. <laughs> he is very good looking. <laughs> Look how good they are. Their visuals pulled through this comeback. I mean, of course they do every single release, but okay. I'm going to bring out the random things I pulled out of the photo book. So it looks like we got a postcard right here. Let's see who we got. Oh, wow. Is that Hwanung? I thought so. It's one of those, I think so, where you have to put, or am I just making fingerprints on it now? <laughs> is it like the heat, heat, what is it called? We have to put heat on it and it works. Oh, wow. I, I was right about that. Look at that. I'm sorry you have to look at my nasty nails for this. <laughs> my nails got so messed up. There you go. Wow, that is so cool. You just apply like body heat to it, then it warms up and shows the image. That's so cool. That is so cool. Okay, so we got a Wanung for that. Then we got this right here. Fragrance. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to smell it. Yeah, because the, the comeback is same scent. Mm, I'm very excited to smell this. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this through the camera. Oh my god, that smells so good. Holy moly. It smells like a really expensive perfume or cologne. Oh my gosh, we have to keep that in here to preserve the smell. Oh my gosh, I just feel like I'm, I'm next to a celebrity right now. It's It smells like what a celebrity would smell like. Very expensive. <laughs> okay, that's that little scent thing. And then we got a bookmark right here. Let's see who I got. Oh, it's not random. <laughs> I'm a clown for thinking that's a random member. That's a really nice quality bookmark, actually. It's really thick. That's very nice. All right, so we got that. And now let's see my random photo cards in the front here. 
Shall I just pull them all out? <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to put them up there and we'll pull them out one by one. So we got to this right here. Oh, we got another. Oh my God. Sorry. I just interrupted myself, but that's so pretty. So is it supposed to be an apple? Oh my gosh. The shape of an apple kind of. And I got Hwanung. Wow. And it's hollow, rainbow hollow. That's so pretty. Love that. And my card. Okay. We're flipping them upside down so I don't see them. First member I got here is, oh, that is gorgeous. Look at his outfit, the chains. Oh my gosh, I got Sahu's card. That is a stunning Sahu card if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I mean, all of his cards are stunning. Let's be, let's be real. But yeah, anyways, that is so pretty. Okay, and the next one, it looks like there's a signature on the back. So we'll just flip it like this. Oh, we got a Connie. Look at him. He looks so good, this comeback. They're all looking very magical. That No, that's not the right word, but they're just looking very pretty. I don't know if that's the word either. Very stunning. <laughs> very stunning, nonetheless. All right, so we got a Connie card as well, and it looks like there's also another card here. This, okay. I was gonna say, that does not look like him. That's Connie's card, but that does not look like him. He looks so different there. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's an AR card. Oh, I might see if I can download the app and then add the clip of it moving in the video. I might, I'm not, no guarantees because I've said it before and then people got mad when I didn't do it. So no guarantees, but I will see if I can download the app and make that move in the video. But that does not look like him. He looks so different there. Look at it, see? He looks completely different. Anyway, sorry, it's just the angle. All right. And of course, Raven is not liking me as usual. You know what? Sometimes he loves me though. Like their album with the with the title track Luna, I forget the album name, but um in that one I pulled him three times. Like it's insane. He either loves me or hates me. Now let's go through the Eden version, which is member versions. Of course I got Ravens. I mean they're not very thick, so they weren't very expensive either. Raven version. I don't know if there's a card with this unless it's oh it, I think it's there at the front. Let's cover that. Okay. So we got very beautiful raven photos. I'm going to assume you get a raven photo card in with this version because when I bought their last album, they did the member uh, digi packs. I almost said jewel cases. The member, oh my god, he looks so good here. Oh my god, I'm just major hard eyes right now. Like, I'm just literally in love, but we are not. <laughs> I'm joking. I wish. No, I'm just kidding. I am joking. And his facial structure is so nice. Oh, God, sorry. Okay, and he looks so good in the suit. Oh, he just, he cleans up nice. But anyways, sorry. I was saying in the member digipacks from Last Era, whoever's version you got, you were guaranteed their photo card. So I'm going to assume it's the same for this. And I'm not complaining because that means I'm guaranteed a Raven photo card. He looks so good. He looks like a bartender here. I don't think he is. He's he's at the dinner table, but he looks so good in this outfit. He never doesn't look good. Like his visuals are always on another level. We have the lyrics here. Yeah, there's really nothing too much to this, honestly. But I'm sure you get cute photo cards with it. Ooh, I love the CD. Like a snake. Very reflective. I'm at my parents' house, by the way, if you can see. My brother had just people over and I was like, yeah, no, I really want to film this. So I need to go to my parents to film this now. Okay, let's pull out the cards here. I'm only going to assume you get... Oh, okay. That's not Raven. That's Connie. Okay, anyways, it's not random. But we got this sticker. Ooh, that's really cool. The font. Okay, I'm just like trying so hard not to show my nails because they're just disgusting. Anyways, so we got a Connie card. It's not random. And you know what? He's really liking me this comeback. Cannot complain. He looks so good. All right. They changed things for the member versions, but that's okay. It's more fun to see who I would get in the photo card. All right. Next card. This one does not say on the back. We got... <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to knock it. Yes. We got a Raven card. He looks so good. And I got him in this outfit. Ooh. Yes, he looks so handsome, so stunning. <laughs> I'm, I sound crazy. I'm just, I just, yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm not, I swear. Anyways, we got um, those two in the Raven version. All right. Oh, wait, shoot. 
I forgot to show my postcard here. Okay, let's see who we got for this. <gasps> yes, I think maybe this is coincident. I actually got his postcard in his version. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Love that. We love pulling Raven inclusions and he looks so good in this postcard. So good. Okay, that was that. And then we got the very small versions here. I think I'll go through the polka version, which I'm assuming is just photo cards since they call it polka version. All right, here we go. That's the front cover. Yeah, it looks like it's... Ooh, interesting. I'm actually quite curious to see everything in here. All right, so we got little stickers, the black version stickers, and we got the white version with the rest of the members. Ooh, oh my gosh, we're seeing the cards already. Okay, so we got whatever. We'll just take them out one by one. We got this little pack of cards here. Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna move that over there. I know we already saw one card, but let me pull these out. Are these random too? Oh no, this is the, um, this is heavy. So this maybe has the album on it. Oh, this is not random. <laughs> All right. I'm only going to assume this has the album on it because it is pretty thick, as you can see. Very thick. <laughs> All right. That is that. We will put you back in there. This is the bottom part. This might also be random. Oh, you stand it. What's in here? Like this. Oh, like that. Stand it like that. I think so. I don't think this is something you can take out. You're supposed to sit it in here and then stand it up. I think that's what that is for. Okay, that's the back there. And then we got this right here. Oh, okay, you have to download the app and everything. Wait, you have to have MakeStar? Well, I do, but interesting. Okay, that's that. Okay, we already saw my first photo card. It's Wanung. Look how cute he is. I like these outfits. And plus his little choker necklace there. I love that. That's super cute. Okay, so we got a Wanung card. And we also got... Oh, we got an Edo card. I love his shirt. That's very stylish. I like that a lot. He looks very cute here with his hair down. He looks younger. I mean, they're already young, except for Raven. He's older than me. I mean, he's only one year older than me. Anyways, okay. There we go. Those are my photo cards from the Polka version. We're liking the somewhat variety. I, who have I not pulled? I pulled No Xion. I never pull him. No, I don't never pull him, but I always pull Huanung. I think he's the member I pull the most. Okay, there's like a plane going by. I'm not about that right now. The very last version is the platform meta version i think they call it that's the front yeah it's pretty much just it, there's honestly nothing much to it this is the digital album i believe so shall we just see who we got huanung i pull him the most Ooh, but we got a xion little photo card there we got huanung's little album thing here okay shall we just take that out first <laughs> although i don't really want to show the back because it has the I like how it has the signature on the front there. That's really cool. Sorry, I'm like covering the back a little bit. <laughs> There's nothing too much to the back, but yeah. And then my photo cards. Let's just take this all out. That's been emptied. There you go. We're pulling them out upside down. So we'll start from the bottom here. We got this little um, fold out accordion thing here. I thought he was shirtless for a second. <laughs> Why is that on my mind? It's not, I swear. All right, there we go. That is that little accordion thing. And okay, let's pull out the photo cards. We've already seen this one. This one was on the top. We got Xion's card. He looks so cute in this card too. And I really like the Polaroid style. I don't know why I like it so much. But yeah. Okay, so we got that Xion Polaroid card. And next one. Okay, I'm just going to flip it up, right? We got... Yes! Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why I'm so happy. I'm not like really collecting Wanas. Like I'm not really collecting Raven's cards. I just get so excited every time I pull in. My luck is not so bad this era. Last era, I pulled nothing of his. The only thing I pulled of his was his K-Town For You card and his um, member Digipack. I didn't actually choose his. I got it sent at random and they actually gave me his. So, I mean, that was pretty lucky, but anyways, okay. Very last card we got oh my god that's the cutest quenum card i've ever seen 
we pulled Huanyong so much this era but are you kidding me this card is so cute love it okay not bad okay I pulled so many Huanyongs though but not bad we did pull every member I did not pull that many Sahu I think I pulled him once in the main version but anyways and I did not pull that many Ido I pulled him once in the Polka version we pulled every member at least once as well so we love that so that was my unboxing of One Us Malice I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye